YouTube, what's good? Be short to death. Coming at y'all again today, y'all. It's Monday. After Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It's time for another episode. Soccer Manager 2018 Road to Glory Series with Tours FC. You guys see the schedule. We got another cup match. You see it in orange. Win our cup match is the goal for the day. Goal ain't changed. There's a cup match on the, on the schedule. The goal is to win the cup match. We want silverware. We also want to get those league wins. Um, be sure to suggest the players in the comments. As far as the age thing, you have to remember we're in right now 2020 in game. So if a player at the start of the game is like 24 or so, he's going to be over the age. He's going to be like 27, 28. Somebody suggested uh, Chicharito in the comments last episode, and he's like 31. And I looked him up. So uh, try to get players who right now are like 21, 22, and under. Suggest those players. Um, and events, I think we're probably going to get too far along to where you guys suggest some players just won't work because the players will be uh, too old for the team that I'm trying to build. So it'll probably become a situation where it'll just have to be you guys voting from the players that I find while I go out scouting. All of that said, uh, let's get into the video. You see who's been added to the short list. Thank you for everybody some suggesting players in the comments. Now let's get to you guys' poll results. So the poll question last time was on stadium expansion. We got the two, the newest stand got built that had a lot more seats. It gave us 4,000 more seats. And I asked, did you guys want to do um, where we get 4,000 seats on the other side to make it even on both sides? Or did you want me to make that 4,000 extra seat stand, make it, give it 8,000 more seats, make it a 16,000 seater on one side and four grand on the other. You guys, it was very close, seven to five, uh, voting and the winner was the even it out so we're going to the first thing we're going to do before we even sim a day is we're going to spin the cash to make the stands look even on both sides thank you for everybody who voted in the poll today all your support and all your participation is much appreciated all right guys so as you see it we got this this the stadium up here we got the 8,000 seat side you guys want to upgrade this level 3 4,000 seat side up to 8,000 Let's take 16 weeks. It'll come out on the 23rd of May. And we're gonna build. So yeah, that'll finish 23rd of May. Um, hopefully we get some club points and I might assign them across the stadium here on the maintenance, just so that I can get this uh, medical center. Um, what you call it? The medical center thing here, just to increase us a little bit faster I would love to get down here um so yeah with all that said uh let's get ready for this match against Khan see you guys for that match up er, okay it says here the manager of Khan is Antonio Conte this man didn't drop out of Chelsea he didn't drop all the way down to the French mid table sides what a fall from grace what a fall. So let's get into this matchup. We are playing Khan. Looking at our team. Moist Keen is still out. Um, I don't want to do this. I'm going to keep the midfield the same. And I think I'm actually going to leave the... I'm going to swap Silva and Williams. And Silva's on the free kicks. Good. Um... I'm going to bring Gratton in instead of Miguel. And we're going to roll with that team as it is in the Valet du Cher, the bigger Valet du Cher. You see they're doing the construction on the other side there down at the bottom of the screen. And hopefully we can get this dub against SM Khan. All right, so it's going to be a throw in. Alinea, pass it to Celso around the keeper. Lo Celso with a goal. Good stuff from my man, Lo Celso, making it 1-0 for Tours FC. Uh oh, we're bringing it down again. Lee on the wing, plays it across. It's Neves who taps it to Tielemans and Yuri Tielemans with, I believe, his first goal for the club and maybe his second. But still showing from deep midfield that he is a very good signing. Uh, making it 2 0 for Tours over time. We're looks like we're moving the ball forward again. Tielemans the interception. He plays the force of LaCelso, who is wide ass open in the middle of the pitch. 25 minutes in, we're up 3 0. This is the kind of game that I like to see. This is the kind of game that gets you off to a rousing start in the 
uh, in the form of this episode, man. We're still doing good, trying to hope for a slip up from PSG, who currently sit atop the table as we lurk beneath them, trying to get uh, some points to move above the table. And this is most likely halftime. It is halftime. We're going to the half up 3 0. See you guys, hopefully, for the second half highlights. Uh oh, we're on the defensive side, not liking this. What was that from Telemans? He like he played it right to the other player, but Alvin Lafont come through clutch. Uh oh, we're playing it close. Burgundy to Telemans. Burgundy came in for Taram a little bit after halftime, and they cannot get a score past their keeper. Nine right, second man, Alinea on the throw in. He plays it backwards. It's Almeida taps it full time for towards FC over. SMCon 3 0. Not a lot going on in the second half. All the action was in the first. And it was enough for us to get the win. Telemans with the goal and an assist. Lacelso with two goals. Alina Neves giving assist as well. PSG four blanks on Stad Rene, leaving us still a point behind and leaving us miles behind on goal difference. But, you know, a little league pressure off for the next few days as we get ready for this cup match against FC Laurent. All right, so we made a few changes here um, with the lineup. We brought in Matt Stauer and Ronaldo Vieira, um, just so that Celso and Neves don't get too tired in the middle of this game. We also brought Monte out for Brian Cohn, um, which is definitely a sub I'm willing to make at halftime if things don't look like they're going well, but I think we've got ourselves a good chance. Back at the Valet du Cher for this match against FC Lorient. I like how they got the construction machines and whatnot out here doing work and like it's in the middle of the game. Good stuff from the boys. Construction boys, good stuff. Uh oh, they're on the run. Oh, Almeida kicks it right to Marvo. Marvo plays it over the top, and Lafont gets fooled. And it is 1 0 to Lorient. Not liking this in the cup match. I don't want to just have to worry about Lee. I want these cup matches interspersed here to worry about. Going for Alinea. He plays to Taram. Taram back to Alinea over the top. Who got it? That is Ronaldo Vieira making it 1 1. Ronaldo Vieira is like, you put me on the bench. I'm going to show you why that was a mistake. Good stuff from Ronaldo Vieira. It was a goal kick from them. And Cassiera took out Torre. Not a fan of this. At 1 1, it's still everything to play for. No need to take out a player. And now we've got to worry about our best forward right now on a yellow card. Ball playing through the middle though, Taram. I don't know what that was. Pekovic, though, was a horrible play. Like he lightly tapped that into the midfield. And Matt Stauer was there to clean up the mess made by their keeper. Sponge and mop duty for Hakeem Mastar, making it 2 1. Oh my goodness, I was half paying attention. Totally missed a free kick goal. I thought we had the subs on. Um, I thought they would have made because I made some subs. I guess I pressed the subs at the same time that they did that. Telemans kicked it. Cassiera scored. I missed that entirely. Oh my goodness. Because um, I. Cued these subs, and I guess I queued them up at the same time. Play had stopped, and I didn't know it was play had stopped. So I thought they were going to make the subs. They didn't need a free kick. 3 1. We have won this cup match. End of the match here. Cassiera is going to. Is he going to play it in and make it 4? Oh no, he just taps it. That's the end of the uh, game there. 3 1. I'm, I'm sorry that y'all missed my commentary on because that was clean up duty to the maximum from Mateo Cassiera. The boys out there getting more wins. Cassiera. Mastar Vieira on goals, Alinea on the assist duties. PSG is actually out of the Coupe de la Ligue, not like it matters, but we are in the quarterfinal of the Coupe de la Ligue. And let's see the draw. Who do we get? Easy, please be easy. Oh, there was a league. Oh, we got another league dude. So we got Gazelek Ajaccio. We almost have. I don't want to. I don't want to say it. I'm not even going to say it. But we have a a easy opponent. I'll put it that way. But the opposition. All right, see you guys. Uh, is that going to mess up our schedule? Nope, that match is in March. All right, see you guys for the match against Monaco. The hard matches of so probably Monaco right there in fourth, not too far behind us in the table. Um, see you guys for that match. All right, guys, so. Before this Monaco match, we actually had a youth promotion, and it was this dude, Vincent Diallo, who's overall 62, attacking is 57. He's already one of our better players. We have to go ahead and called him right up to the squiggity, squiggity squad. Um, we are going to go with the main usual suspects, though. 
out on the pitch. No Kuwa Monte is still kind of tired, but we're going to play him anyway. Um, we're going to go with them boys out there, and we're going to bring Diallo on possibly as a sub. I like him. Uh, he's already one of our better uh, attacking forward options. Um, he actually is a better passer than Taram. Better dribbler as well. He's just not much in the strength department, but he's got decent pace. So we've got him out there. Bring him on. We go up against Monaco. Let's go get this dub here. Uh oh, Congolo. They got a throw in, but it's in their own territory. This is going to translate to. Oh, Cassiera tried it. Supersig right there, though. Good stuff from Supersig. I give him props. And it's going to be a corner for the boys. I better see. Is that Taram going to take a corner? Uh, what fresh hell is this? Why is Silva not taking the corner? Toronto's gonna whip it in. Is it gonna be a penalty or is it gonna be a goal? It's a penalty. All right, while well, that penalty's happening, why did yeah Yuri Tielemans on for the corners? Is sit yeah I don't think I don't know if I put Silva in and I can't remember. But either way, why did Toronto take that? Why is Tielemans taking the penalty? What is with this game? This game is glitchy as hell. Tielemans converts the penalty. Just wanted to show you guys that like penalty taker is. Neves, who it shouldn't be either, it should be Cassiero Taram. But the fact that the corner taker is Telemans and Taram took the corner, and the penalty taker is Neves, but Telemans took the penalty. What is with this game? That's like a major, major glitch. But it's 1 0 to the boys. I'll take that though. I'll take the lead, of course. And Gomez, but Joe Gomez, the center back on a run, doing a PK impression. Ah, oh, but we could not get the ball. Pass super stitch. Uh oh, they got the ball in midfield. This could be a danger. Oh no, it's a danger for us. We did committed a stupid foul. I think that's Nelson Monte. You know, like, there's no reason to be committing stupid fouls like that in the middle of the midfield. And Monte has got a yellow card. Uh oh, they're moving it forward. They intercepts in their own half. With Celso though, steals it. Castier is not being super stitch. We need to get the goal. We're only up one nil. And this is Monaco we're dealing with here. This isn't some garbage team. It is probably good that we took Telemans from them, though. This is, this is the return of Yuri Telemans to Monaco. After a transfer just from earlier, oh, Miete. Gazal is going to play it in. And who is that who just took that shot? Oh, I was trying to figure it out, but Neves is out wide. And he's going to play in a cross. Who's he going to find in the midfield? This is Alenia coming in, making it two. It was Lamar who took that shot. I thought I saw Neymar and I almost had a heart attack. 2 0 for the boys. Uh oh. Almeida gets it. 92nd minute. Don't play it that far forward in their own half. Oh my goodness. Full time. 2 0. Keeping the clean sheet. Good stuff from the boys. Beating Monaco. That's a good one because Monaco, I think we drew with them earlier this season. So to get a win, getting those 50 manager points. We're on a manager point streak here. We might be closing up on that next level on the manager points uh, and getting. And, and a bunch more club points. Telemans and Alina on the goals. Neves with the assist. PSG did not play today. PSG didn't play today on the weekend matches. Um, I do want to see where PSG ends up. They've got Lyon, and they beat them 2-0 as well. So close but no cigar. We could not eclipse PSG in this match. But maybe we can in our next match against Toulouse. See you guys for that. All right, guys. Usually I wouldn't show you results from games that we don't play, but Nantes just beat PSG 2-0. So we are a win or a draw. Or we already went away from taking first entirely and a draw away from uh, tying on points because we played on the Sunday match against Toulouse. So, yo, that's wild. That is so wild. PSG just lost 2-0 to Nantes. Um, any changes, I'm going to put Silva back in and uh, make sure he's Everything's back to normal there. Lead the back for lead the midfield. Actually, we're going to rotate Alinea and Vieira out. We'll let La Celso be the playmaker. Uh, I like Diallo. And Diallo, because Diallo could play up front. So, I'm really liking Diallo as my backup forward right now. Um, and not Bergenu. So, with all that said, yeah. Let's put Gratton on the bench. And get this dub at the Valet du Cher third time at the Valet du Cher. And this this is for first place now. We got to get this win now for first. Let's do it, boy. Let's go. 
Uh oh, Dermot has his own A3. They have a very purple team. Like this this background's purple. Right in LaFont's midst, though. Good stuff. Santa Maria was there on cleanup duty, but he, there wasn't nothing to clean up. LaFont had a nice and spick and span sparkly down there in his box. Good stuff from Alvin LaFont. Uh oh, Teron is going to be. I think it's going to be in the halftime here. Uh oh, Cassier. Cassier put it away. No! It was right at the keeper. It's very close. Yeah, very close to halftime. It should be halftime here momentarily. Ruben Neves injured again. We're going to bring in Alenia. Neves is able to walk off, so hopefully it's just a brief injury. It won't take him out for too many days. Yuri Telemans on a free kick. Oh, let's get settled in for this. Yuri Telemans, what you going to do? Telemans over the top. Telemans direct free kick goal. We thought it was going to be Silva. It instead was Yuri Telemans. Son. Cassier on the run. Cassiero, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna play down? He's gonna do it himself. Finds La Celso. Can I get it past? I think that's. I'm not going to try to say that keeper's name. We're at 1 0. Uh oh, they're making a run. La Celso with the interception. Finds Diallo. Diallo will get his first goal. Diallo, the young boy. Boy, Diallo out here. Good stuff. Joe check. Joe, I'm not. Fuck it. Diallo gets a score 2 0. We are going to most likely. In this episode in first place right now. We are definitely ending this match in first place. Good stuff from the Tours FC boys. TSC beating TSC Tours to Toulouse nil. Man of the match, Yuri Telemans for that gorgeous free kick. Neves is out hurt. Diallo scored as well. No assists. Boys on the do it all themselves. Neves, one day, just foot injury, whatever the hell that means. We are, first off, I'm 150 manager points away from getting the next level, and that's club points. So that's something to look for next episode. But as far as this episode here, we got our last match against Girondines Bordeaux. I want to look at something. How many wins in a row is that? I mean, look at that form. The one loss is set at the end amongst all those wins. Oh, lovely stuff. See you guys for the match against Bordeaux. Uh, and we'll have the team of the team of the month for you there as well, because that will be March 2nd. See you there. All right, it is March the 2nd. Let's look at last month's team of the month. Ruben Neves on the 9.8, leading all the players on the team, as well as a little Yuri Telemans in there with the 9.6. Tours Boys out here working hard as we get ready for the last match of this episode against Bordeaux. And uh, yeah, the boys looking like it's pretty decent. Neves looks a little tired, so we're going to let Alenia get the start. Swap these two into their correct positions. And we're going to leave the rest of the team as it is and get this dub against Bordeaux real quick. Come on, let's do it, boys. Let's get this win. Uh oh, not liking this. So somebody's going to take a shot. And oh, it got around LaFont. Are you kidding me, son? Depreville. Good stuff for him. LaFont, you gotta step it up, brother. Let's step it up, brother. Oh no, they're on the run again. What is this nonsense here? LaFont, though, stepping it up. Good stuff from Alvin LaFont. Keeping it 1 0. Teron will run. Hopefully, this isn't too close to half time. Melina plays in the cross. Cassiera can't get a pass called Steel. Good stuff, though. Getting a shot on goal as we get near halftime. Uh oh, deep throwing for the boys. Telemans, Fiera plays over the top. Look like it's Taram. It is Taram right around the keeper. Good stuff, making it one all for the boys. Come on, let's get this comeback rolling. I want this win. Undefeated episode time. Come on, give us an undefeated episode. Uh oh, it's in our own half. Don't like this. They're on the attack. Oh, LaFont. Now, what is that, son? Come on. Come on, bruh. They're not on the attack again. It's the preview. Vada. LaFont better. Okay. I'm about to say LaFont better. LaFont better get his hands on that. Uh oh. It's in their side. Oh, let's move towards the middle now. It's probably going to be a foul. Oh, no. Monte, Telemans, LaCelso, Cassier. This is a very long stretch of plays. This is going to be a penalty. Plays it over the top. It's a penalty to Tours FC. I, I, you know, it's, it's, they need to fix that next year. It's very easy to tell when a penalty is coming, and it's going to be. That's better be Cassiera. It's Telemans again. Telemans wants one on penalty, so let's see what Telemans has here. Telemans makes it two-two. 
for the boys. Yuri Telemans out here. I like it. I like what Telemans is putting down. So runs from Otto Vieira. Plays it over to Yuri Telemans. Very far forward from my central defensive midfielder. Could not get it past Castile. Uh oh. Teron's the Celso. Teron off the Celso interception. Oh, Castiere, I believe that was. Cannot get it past Castile. We are at that goal. We are in there. Oh, Planet Ford is Matt Stour. Castiere is on a run. He is free. Wide ass open. Lost it, but Matt Stour coming in. The sub. Matt Stour makes it 3 2. Undefeated episode. Finishing this thing in first place. Uh oh, it's not iced away yet. Nah, it looks pretty iced away, Matt Stour. Got it in the middle. It's full time. Now celebration. Ah, 3 2. Tour over Bordeaux. Left it late. Left it with drama. But at the end, we left it with the win. Telemans, Taram, Matt Stour with the goals. Ronaldo Vieira with an assist. I'm 100 manager points away from more Club Puntos. You guys know how much I love some Club Puntos. Next match is in two whole days. So it's probably going to be a lot of uh, rotations happening there. But with all that said, y'all, you see it. You see the table. 29 games played. We are this close to the end of the season. This is a 38 game season. We made it through 29 of them and we are at the top of the league with a better record than Perry Saint Germain. I think personal opinion that deserves a like on the video like this video for the boys being in first place. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you're new here, we do this every single day, Monday through Friday, which means tomorrow we get to see a lot of things. We get to see if we can possibly even stretch this lead against PSG. Do we play PSG next episode? We do not. PSG is right now, as it looks like, it'll be the last episode. will be our rematch against PSG at the Valet du Cher. Y'all, we are so close to the end of the season. Look how close to the end of the season we are. And we are in first place with a league, a Coupe de la League match against Gazelec with a chance to go to the semifinals on the line there. This could be an excellent season for Tours FC. And I want you guys to be a part of it, so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications on so you can know when I upload these episodes. If you are currently a subscriber, thank you so much for coming through these videos, showing all of the mad love to the team, to the boys. And y'all, just thank you guys so much for being here. This has been extremely fun. This has been one of the episodes, y'all. We got the dubs, five of them. It took five of them in a row. 14 million in the bet with just all kinds of good stuff coming to the boys. See you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.